life proceeds serenely in Dublin nowadays. Only the elderly remember the troubles. There's no rat race there about the capital of error. It's a Roman Catholic city with today its own brand of excitement. For on each bank of the Liffey, there's only one thing to talk about, the Dublin Horse Show. They've been working overtime in the Smithies, and the honour of Ireland's fine hunters will be contested on the famous showground of Balls Bridge. Entered for the Sunday Mount Stakes is top of the sixth. Freddie Welsh, his rider, superintends the bandaging. This is the scene behind the scenes during the five days of the show. They really understand horses over in Ireland, this breeding ground of incomparable hunters. The latest four-leg arrivals get expert appraisal, as they have done for the past hundred years or so that the Dublin Horse Show has been held. It's an international show here at Ballsbridge, and for that popular event, the Aga Khan Cup, there's a German team competing. Also entered are Ireland, Britain, Italy and Switzerland. Strangely enough, you have to go back 14 years for the last time Ireland herself won this cup. Miss Drummond Hay is the only lady rider in the British team. Time now for everybody in the ground to rise to mark the arrival of President de Valera. In the tradition of the show, the teams ride past the President. Ireland lead, after them the British. The Germans, always popular in Dublin. The Swiss team. And Nelly Drummond Hay rides merely a monarch. Riding beautifully, Miss Drummond Hay has a clear round. For Ireland, Diana Connolly Carew incurs four faults here on Barrymore, but no more on this round. Tommy Wade, also Ireland, rides that great little horse, Dundrum. And it's a clear round for him. At the end of the first round, the faults incurred are Ireland 4, Germany 8, Britain 8. And here's Miss Hay again. Merely a monarch refuses at fence number 10. Colonel Lombard, Switzerland on Japonais. For Germany, Hans Winkel rides a clear round on Romanus. The hero of the day is Tommy Wade. If he can achieve a clear round this time, Ireland will win the cup. This is it. Yes, he's done it. So the Aga Khan Cup is won for Ireland for the first time for 14 years. This really is a great day for the artist.